Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are back with the last bag of jewelry from one of my awesome subscribers. This is from Miss Carol and she sent me four bags of really cool jewelry. This was in the box. I think I laid it in there. I think this came out of one of the other bags. And I think I laid it in there with the hopes that I would find the other one. And I think I was supposed to whisper this video, but I've whispered like the last two videos, I think. So I decided I wasn't going to whisper again today. <laughs> Sorry if that bothers you, but I do what I want. And I just felt like whispering three days in a row was a bit much. A bit much. And then people complain about that, so <laughs> I can't win. Isn't this a beautiful earring, though? Look at this. It's gorgeous. I love the graceful shape of the metal part of this earring. It's so beautiful. It has this twisty texture to it. And then you have these little dangling red multifaceted pieces here. It's so pretty. It is just so neat. And it's not heavy at all. It's actually pretty lightweight. I was hoping I would find the other one so I, I can wear them. But I think that's why it was in the, the box. I think I put it in there. Okay. So what we've been working with with these bags, and this is the fourth and final bag. It's like a little scavenger hunt. We're looking for items. Um, and let's see. So there are different things you're supposed to look for. We found the lilac chandelier earrings, the seahorse, any item that reminds you of Jacob Marley, a scarab, a scarab and a pair of lucite earrings. All we have left to find is an adjustable mixed material necklace with a blue strand and two stacks of books. So I'm assuming they're in here. <laughs> Because we've been through the other three bags, and this is the last bag. I see a blue strand right there. Do you think that's it? Is that the, um, the adjustable mixed material necklace with the blue strand? I don't know. I haven't looked at this bag. I always wait until we're together to go through these bags. So what I do, when I have a little bag of jewelry, I open it up. And this has a, like a little zipper seal to it. just kind of fold it out. You see that helps to hold it open. When I have those big bags, I really have to, because first of all, they're wrapped in, in tape and you really have to wrestle with them to get them open. So I don't typically show me opening those because it's like violet. <laughs> it's not relaxing at all. Okay. I see. Oh, wouldn't that make a pretty uh, pendant for a necklace? This is not, no. This is not paparazzi. Well, this, there's a little thing here. Wouldn't that just make the coolest pendant? Oh, man. I might turn that into a pendant. It's perfect for spring. You know, it's springtime now. It doesn't feel like it outside. At least not here. It got cold. Well, not cold, but it cooled off. It's kind of chilly but it has kind of a floral look to it. This kind of looks like a big flower. I'm going to turn that into a pendant. Oh, that's actually pretty, pretty big, but I am tempted to turn that into a pendant. I may just do that. Yeah. And we've had little bits here and there of paparazzi jewelry. It looks like the, this one has this little piece hanging down, but this one has lost its little hangy down. <laughs> Remember that's what Bob Ross called, um, what was it, when he would paint those pine trees? I think it was part of the pine tree branches he called hangy downs. <laughs> hangy downs. He had the cutest little terms for everything. I loved that show so much. I still do. Now this earring looks familiar. I think we actually found its mate in one of the other bags. 
it's like just a single little silver link just hanging out here on this earring that's it yeah I think we found its mate in one of the other bags so now we have interesting bracelet is it stretchy? it is not it's like that's interesting it's like plastic tubing kind of but it's not stretchy at all look at that it's yeah it's just orange and white striped plastic it's, it's cool I kind of like it <laughs> it's kind of like a creamsicle the orange and white makes me think of that and then we have another bracelet this one is stretchy has those nice colors to it these black beads are glass and they are multifaceted. Nice little beads, they catch the light. Look at them. They have a little bit of a sparkle because of the facets. And then in between them, we have these little tiny golden glass seed beads. And it's tied together right here. Nice, stretchy, elastic. Is that the colors of what is that? Wake Forest? I don't, I don't follow like college sports or whatever, but I think that's the colors of Wake Forest. I don't, I don't know. Don't hold me to it. Okay. So this looks like a kid's necklace. I would have loved this as a kid. Look at the little seed beads. You have these beautiful light blue iridescent seed beads here. And then these are just kind of white. And then these are blue again up here. And then we have these little plastic pearls and little pink heart beads. In the back, we have a small silver lobster claw clasp with no adjustable chain. It's just a small, very simple, very pretty little necklace. Isn't that nice? That's a neat necklace. Okay. What is it? I think we, yeah, I think we found some of these in at least one of the other bags. Here you can see the remnants of the elastic. This was, um probably part of a bracelet so you would have these links like this and they were held together with the elastic that goes through here and then here um, but I can tell you from experience if you have one of these bracelets and the elastic breaks they are a pain in the butt to redo like to redo the elastic it is really difficult it is challenging because I had one break one time it was made out of sections like this. It's a beautiful color. It's like amber. But I got it, you know, I had some elastic and I got it back together, but it was really tough. It's harder than you would think. But I, I did get it redone and I was able to save it. But it was more frustrating than I expected. Here we have, oh, this is all together. I think we found... I think this is part of that. I think we found the adjustable mixed material necklace with a blue strand. But let's see if it's part of this. First we have a chain. So remember these? These were so popular back in the 80s and the early 90s. Oh man, everybody wore these things. Like everybody. This is a little silver chain. Um, I don't I think it's sterling silver. I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah, I don't think it is. But we have this. I don't think this was the original clasp. It's a small, kind of a gold colored lobster claw clasp. And the necklace itself is silver. We have about four inches of adjustable chain. And yeah, this is from Claire's. There's a little tab on here that says Claire's. We found another necklace like this in one of the other bags chain from Claire's. Claire's is great. I can always find something in there that I thought was just really cool when I was a kid. I liked going in there. I think that's where I got my ears pierced. Was it at Claire's? It might have been um, when I was 12, but I did everything right and it just, it didn't work out, long story short, so I just let them grow up. After about six months of trying to get them to heal properly, I just gave up. And I'm not worried about it. Look at this pretty bracelet. It has two strands. 
difference and an interesting magnetic clasp has a little gold hexagonal piece on it. See this part is magnetic back here. So you could just leave it there. <laughs> um, sometimes, yeah, there we go. Sometimes they're easy to get apart. These are twisted. I don't think they're supposed to be twisted. I always do them the wrong way. Well, I don't know. Maybe they are. Ugh. Why are they twisted like that? That's awful. I guess they're supposed to be twisted, but see you have this magnetic clasp. And this is actually really nice, but if you're making a video with the necklace or a bracelet with a clasp like this, you have to be very careful because it can make a very loud noise when it goes back together if you are not careful. But after you do a few of them, you learn to be careful. <laughs> so it has, okay, two totally different stripes here, two different bands. This one has these little sparkly clusters of stuff. And this one has a link, like a gold link chain with smaller links on either side. This is gold. It's pretty. I just, I wish it wasn't like that. I think it's supposed to be like that, but I don't like that. I found one of the stacks of books. It's an earring. Look at that. It's a little wooden earring. It's balsa wood. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I hope the other one's in here. I'm, it is. I found the two stacks of books. I'm totally keeping these earrings. This is awesome. It's stacks of books. Oh, man. I love it. I'm keeping that. <laughs> that is so cool. So we found the stacks of books. So I know we can check that off the list. We will check the things off the list at the end of the video. So I'm keeping the stacks of books. I'm converting these to clip-ons. These are great. In here, we have a red plastic necklace. Looks like it was 99 cents. It's little, they're like Mardi Gras beads, basically. A little lightweight reddish uh, colored plastic beads, kind of almost the same color as my nail polish. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And we have this interesting thing. Now this has three strands of beautiful rhinestones. Look at this. It's a little twisted up. It would have to be un undone, but so you have these two squares and if you look on the back, there are pins back here. So you could actually pin these to your outfit or whatever, and then you would have these hanging down. Yeah, that needs to be untangled, but how cool is that? You could have these strands of rhinestones hanging. It makes me think of Michael Jackson for some reason. It's very, I don't know, it just makes me think of him. Or Dolly Parton. I don't know, I could see either of them wearing but look at all the rhinestones, and it looks like they're all there. It just needs to be on, you know, needs to be straightened out. That's cool, and it has the little pins on the back. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. How interesting. How pretty. That is nice. And then, okay, we do have a necklace. Wow, look at this. So this is on our list. This is on our list. This is our adjustable mixed material necklace with blue strand. Looky there. Mixed material, definitely. You have these beautiful plastic beads here and then wooden beads coming down this way. Very beautiful color. More plastic beads down here. And then it breaks off into two separate strands down here at the bottom. Oh, I love how they feel. That is plastic, but it's very cold and smooth to the touch. I like, that may not be plastic. That might, it, that might actually be, actually I think that's polished stone. I don't think that's plastic at all. It's, it feels too cold to the touch to be plastic. It's, um, I think that's polished stone. These, I think these are plastic though. 
and then these up here are wood. What a pretty necklace. Look at this. And then up here, for a clasp, we have a little slider. It's like a little orange plastic piece that just kind of slides like that. And then we have a knot up here that holds it together. Then on the end of the strands, we have these little wooden beads here. Actually, I think they're plastic. Isn't that pretty? It is pretty. So that is our mixed media. Adjustable mixed material. Not media. Mixed, ma mixed material necklace with a blue strand. So, let's see. I think that two things on the list that we hadn't found yet. Let's see dog tags. Ooh, oh look at these pretty earrings. Oh man. Look ooh, aren't they shiny? Oh my gosh, here's the other one. Oh they're so pretty. Wow. Look at that. Ooh, I'm gonna keep these. These are beautiful. I love these. They're so pretty. And they're very thin. They are metal. You have to be very careful with earrings like this because you can bend them very easily. I have some that are kind of similar to this, but they're more, this is like a circle. And if you're not careful, you can very easily warp them, bend them. That's pretty though. That's the back right there. So pretty. So I already have two cool pairs of earrings out of this bag. I have the books and these. That's so We have a bangle. This is pla a plastic bangle and glued to it are all the sparkles. Look at that. All of the sparkles on here. Has a nice little rough texture to it. Some of them are missing, but I mean, it's so sparkly, it doesn't even matter. I mean, it, you know, the overall effect is just super cool. We have two uh, pierced earrings that are made to look like I would say tortoise, tortoise shell, perhaps, but it's it's plastic. It's not tortoise shell. It's very smooth, though. It's very polished. They're beautiful. That would go with so many different things. You could wear that with animal print designs, or brown or black. It would look good with an ivory color. Those are pretty, and they're very lightweight because they're plastic, so they don't really weigh a whole lot. I hate heavy earrings. They bug me. Oh, and then we have... This is a loose necklace here. Here is another necklace. Now this one has white plastic pearls. And in between the pearls, we have these multifaceted clear plastic beads. And then on either side of that, we have little white plastic beads. I think this is a necklace that somebody made. This is on filament string, and that causes it to kind of warp a little bit. It has a small silver lobster claw clasp and about two and a half inches of adjustable chain. I like the length of it. I do. I think the length is nice. I don't wear super long necklaces all that often, although if I'm wearing a cowl neck sweater, sometimes I will wear a longer necklace. We have a blank dog tag here. I think you can get these engraved and get all kinds of stuff put on them. This is small. I think this was a kid's dog tag. It's probably one that came in like a little, I don't know, like a little soldier dress up kit or something. It looks like something that would come with that because my kids love stuff like that when they were little. And yeah, we had stuff like that. Now let's see. I want to look at this. This has a, a dingle ball on it. Look at it. An elastic. It has this piece that just hangs down. We have this ball and a swinging piece that hangs from the ball. There's no clasp or anything. I think this was part of a necklace and it just broke off. And the clasp is not there anymore. We have a single little plastic bead like a little plastic pearl. Just, just with the one. Oh, and this is, this is probably like a bookmark. 
I would say. I mean, maybe not, I don't know. But it has a little piece here that says believe on it. It's a little bead here. And on the end we have a little cross with rhinestones. It's kind of an amber color, although our rhinestones are actually on both sides. And then we have all these multicolored, we have multicolored little seed beads here. It's very nice. I mean, it's long enough. That would work as a bookmark for most books. Here's another earring. This is like these, but this is more like a mother of pearl look to it. It's the same size. That is cool. I don't know if the other ones... Oh yeah, the other one. Actually, the other one poked through the bag a little bit. We have another bracelet has a, like an earring back stuck to it. It is magnetic. And see, these strands do not overlap. But we have five different strands here, and they're all different widths. This one has a long bead on it. Was it back in the early 2000s that these were popular? I'm trying to remember. Early, oh, I can't, like 2008, maybe? So late knots or whatever you call it, whatever that decade was, the knots, the naughties. I don't know. You have the tree of life here, like that, it has rhinestones going around it. This is a little multifaceted. It's like a plastic bead, but it's made to look like rose quartz, inlaid into this metal setting here. It has a faux snake skin look to it for these three strands. This one is like faux leather or something. And again, we have the magnetic clasp that you just <laughs> makes a noise if you're not careful. <laughs> Ornery little things. Now this is a necklace, but it's actually, no, it's not missing the clasp. The clasp actually came undone. Oh, let's see. Yeah, this is just, I had to wait for an airplane to fly over. <laughs> Sounds like a little prop plane. It was very loud. All right. Yeah. Oh, look. It had a very tiny lobster claw clasp. Little bitty. And it's holding on to the adjustable chain for dear life. We only have about two inches of adjustable chain. The lobster claw clasp originally was attached over here. But it's come undone. Oh, it looks like it actually... No, it didn't break. The little link that held them together is missing. This is an American Eagle necklace, a little iridescent seed beads. And then, oh, we have some more beads. We have some more little plastic pearls here. And a big old multi-stranded pearl necklace. Look, three strands. Oh, how nice. It has this cool clasp. It's the underside. See, so you just kind of pinch it like that. And this piece comes out. Just sort of put it back in there like that. This is pretty. This is actually really cute. I like this necklace. That's really pretty. And it's lightweight too. It, it looks like it would be heavy, but it actually is not. And here is the matching earring for that one. Oh gosh. What on earth? It's like a a ball. Look at all this. What is going on? Well, first of all, there's an earring tangled up in it. That's a problem. Oh, dear. Ah, uh, it's no problem at all. Look, it has one little swinging ball. Pew, pew, a little swinging ball. This pearl is different, though. This little plastic pearl, th I've never seen one quite like it because it has little rhinestones in it up here at the top. They're small, but they're there. And here's the earring part. That's pretty. Now, how does this work? I don't know. So, oh, here we have a large silver lobster claw clasp. No adjustable chain. So this is the end of the necklace. Oh my gosh. We have a tangle, like a I'm not going to sit here and try to untangle the tangle. So, but I think part of it 
you know how you undo a tangle like this? You come up here and you undo this lobster claw clasp. You move your earrings out of the way. Okay. Yeah, so here's the end and see how it's all tied together and then it just hangs down. It's heavy too, I mean, because you have all this chain. It's, it's substantial. So, you want to... Actually, you could probably just lay it out like this and start looking at it. Do like that. Let's see here. I feel like this is either really easy or really hard. I have to actually hold it up to get it to do what I want it to do. That's not doing anything, Mary. Let me, let me fiddle with it for a second. I have to hang it up to look at it. Okay, that was actually super easy once I... I had to kind of lay this on the table and let, let it kind of hang over the side. And then you can kind of see where... You just get a feel for where the strands want to go. So now that I have it untangled, I can redo the lobster claw clasp. If you ever have necklaces that are tangled up, I always recommend first undoing the clasps because it could actually make it easier to undo everything. So there, I got them undone. <laughs> it was actually very easy. <laughs> that is a pretty necklace. I'm sitting here looking at it like, I think I'm going to keep it. Because again, you know, I like to wear, out when I go to work, I often will wear cowl neck sweaters and I like to have a longer necklace that will show under that cowl neck. This is perfect for that. And it's unlike any of my other, what I call my sweater necklaces. It's unlike any of my other sweater necklaces. So I think I may keep this. I like it. I'm going to hang on to that. I'll put this over here. This bag has been really, really great. I've enjoyed all of them. So the last thing we have in this bag is, okay, this is separate. That is a separate thing. This is an older faux pearl necklace right here. I can just kind of tell from the clasp, or not really the clasp, but the bar piece here that holds them together, and the cord, the string that holds them together, and it has that shepherd's hook clasp up here like the top of a shepherd's hook. One of the strands is missing, the middle one. This one has come undone. It has this older kind of uh, thread. This looks like one that my grandmother had. It's not real pearls, but it kind of reminds me of the one my grandmother had. The one that my grandmother had was only one strand, but it, it kind of had the same look and feel to it. I think I have it around here somewhere. I don't wear it, but I think I actually still I have it. It was probably from back in the 70s or something. I don't know. That's not real pearls. Now this is pretty. I mean, this is pretty too. I, I, I love stuff like this. This necklace has the prettiest little pink beads. They kind of have a swirly look to them. They're little plastic beads, but they're really cute. And we have a bar clasp that's kind of twisted up on itself. But we have this bar clasp that goes in there like that. Very pretty. In between these little twisty beads, we have little clear plastic beads. It's very pretty. So that is everything uh, from the fourth and final bag from my subscriber. So we can actually take our list here. Now, let's see. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. We did five earlier from the other three bags, but now we can check off the adjustable mixed material necklace with the blue strand. I've covered it up. It's this one right here. And the two stacks of books are now my new earrings. These are very cool. 
and we found everything on our little scavenger hunt list, our recipe card. That's exciting, we found everything. And from this bag, I got some cool stuff. I have these pretty earrings right here. It's got a little bend. You can bend it back there if you're just careful about it. You can just kind of straighten it back up. So I have these earrings here and the little stacks of books. Those are so cute. I love it. And my newest sweater necklace right here. This is my newest sweater necklace. Lots of wonderful stuff in this little bitty old bag. Oh man, how did you get all this in that bag? That's crazy. I did not find this other earring, but that's okay. It's alright because I have two fun pairs here and my new sweater necklace, so I'm very happy. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see all of this fun stuff and a special thank you again to Miss Carol for sending me all these great things. I really enjoyed looking at them. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a great day and I'll see you again soon.